Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a object store connector with mule ESB. So what is the use of object store? Object store is used to store the object and even you can retrieve the, the same object into the other flow. So I can give you some scenarios where you can use the object store. First thing, like you are aware, you know, aware of O authentication tool. In O authentication tool, first we send the authorization request. We got a token ID back from the client. So in Okay, and the there is some expiration period for token ID, like two hours. That you have to generate the token ID every two hours. So we can define one flow where you can, you know, like every two hours you can generate your token ID and you can store that token ID into the into your object store. And in next flow, you can retry that token from the object store. The second, the IDM potum filter. IDM potum filter basically. You know, process the unique message. It removed the duplicate message. So where it, you know, like store the data. So basically, it used the object store in the background to store the data. Fine. So let me start with dem demonstration. I will create a new application file new. I will say OS app for Milton runtime. I will keep 3.8. Rest of the setting I am not going to touch. I will say finish. Okay, let me drag and drop HTTP listener component. Fine. I will say connector configuration. I will say OK. For path, I will say OS. I will say post. Now, I will say object store. Let me go to connector. I will drag and drop object store. I will going to first do the connector configuration. Click on this add button. The object store can be stored in two way, in memory and persistent. When I say in memory, so object will get stored in the in memory. During the restart of mule runtime, you will lose each and every object. So better we will going to use the file system. For using file system, you have to click on this persistent. I will give a partition name, EMP. You can define the TTL. Say one twin T. You can define the expiration interval. I will say one minute, 10,000 milliseconds. Max entity entry 6,000. So what does this mean? Like your object will, you know, like get expired within the one minute. If you if you have a 6,000 entry, it will refresh your file again. So it will start again. That's that is the meaning of max entry expiration interval. Okay. So okay. Now operation. We have this operation. Retrieve all keys or store. Okay. I will use store. What I have to store the key, I will say my key is name. Other thing I will say message dot proper sorry inbound property. I will say dot read from query param. I want to store the query param. Dot it should be name. Okay, this is how I will going to pass a query param. I will save it. I will create one other flow http. Another flow, we will try to read a object value, object store. By default, you can see the connector configuration. In path, I will say OS again, but this time I will use the get method. Let me look for object store. Okay, you can see your connector configuration is already there. This time I will use read drive. And what is my key? My key is name. Let me save my application. I will start it. Okay, it can be deployed. So now this is my message. I'm going to pass it using I have to use the post method. Now it's a send. So you the value has been stored. Now I will remove this. Now it's a send. Fail to invoke stored. Let me check what is the problem. Name. This is all right, all perfect. Let me check whether I, I forget something. Okay, you have to click in persistent. 
let me do one thing let me okay let me start and stop the applications once again okay okay and okay. one one thing okay that's fine let me going to post it again okay what i have done i haven't used the get method second i need to use the get method so i will say send okay here i will use the get method i forget to use get method that's why it was failed i will send it it will say key doesn't exist because we have set the time limit of 1 minute so what i have to change the object name now because it has been expired now that particular object name has been expired so i will say name 1 because it it was stored in the file okay so that get expired now let me give under the name one i will say send sorry i have to use the post method i have to pass one query parameter i will say send now i will use get method let do quickly because before it expire see now you can see git in the run now key doesn't exist it has been expired now so for if you don't want to make your object to expire okay so what you have to go to object store you can go to edit remove all this field just give a partition name now i will say to now we say to let's wait Application has been deployed. Now I will say again post. I put question mark. I send it. Now I will use get. Send. Send. Now you, you your object is not expiring. You can see like you can retrieve your value from the object. Now we are going to see in some other case. Let me remove this flow. Let me use the item potum filter. let me remove this no need okay so basically item put on filter is used to process the unique message it's a filter so i want to catch also let me drag and drop catch in error handle here i will go into drag and drop set payload i can say duplicate messages Fine. Let me go to item bottom filter. So basically, I will say, just go to post. I will say, <laughs> this value should be unique. Okay, I want to filter on basis of this. So what I will do, I will say, JSON A. Here I will say throw on unaccepted. Yes. Okay, you can use the object store here. So you can see core in memory store. Okay, next here I can define the name. I will say in memory item. I can define main, max entry equals to six thousand. Max TTL I will say one twenty for expiration period. Again I will say one sec one minute. Let me say finish. Let me stop the application and start it again. So here I give the expiration period equals to one minute. So you cannot send a duplicate message within one minute. You can send after one minute. I am going to show in the demo. I can show your configuration file. See in configuration file you can see like object store connector. In, see in memory store. Okay. So now we are using the in memory store. So you know like uh, uh, what uh, what will happen if runtime get restarted? Your object will lose. Okay, now send me message. I will say A2. Okay, I will say you got a duplicate message. Let's wait for one minute. Okay, okay, okay. It was one second, I think. Yeah, it's ten second. It's not one minute. Okay, I'm sorry for that. So let me edit it. I will say. Okay, I, I will say sixty. Okay, that's why it was. You want to wait for one minute. Let me run again. 
So I have defined 10 seconds. Let's wait for application to deploy. So now I have restarted my runtime. So it should accept the value again. I will say send. Now I will keep on getting duplicate messages till one minute. Let's wait. One minute is over. Till that what I will do, I will try to process other message. I will say three, send, message. Again three, it was duplicate message. I will say four, send. Now again I will say two. I think one minute may be over. It wait, still one minute is not over. 26, it should be 827. Still, one minute is not over. Let's send now. See, now it has been accepted. Now we will see one more thing in item portal message like instead of in memory, I will remove them in memory filter. I will say text file store text. Okay. One minute for that we have to give one folder. So I will give source test resources. Okay. So let me edit it again. So here I have to give a folder. I will say create a file in source test resources. Again, here we have to put same item object store. I will say max entry 6000. I will say 120 expiration. I will again say not. I will give more. I will give 30 seconds because we have to wait for a long time. So let me save it again. This time, what will happen? It will create one file here. So it will going to store each and every object there. Okay, I will send same message again. Okay, I'll send same duplicate message. Now refresh me. You can see one file has been created. Item object store. Let me open. So you can see two has been stored into the file. Now I will say I will send two again because 30, 30 seconds is not over yet. I will say. Okay, three. Let me open. Now three has been stored. Now let me check if two we can process two again. Now we can process the two again. Now two this will be one more entry for two. So by default, I have set the expiration period equals to thirty seconds. See, okay. So. <laughs> Now you can now you know like how useful is the object store in your mule flow. Right? So if you like my video, just subscribe subscribe to it. Thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.